This first one, I am going to prepare the paper. This is um, the back of a painting, a reject. <laughs> so I'm recycling. Um, it looks a little rough, but it'll work. It's okay. So I'm just with watercolor. Um, I love the wet on wet technique, which is where I wet the paper first before adding the color. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do a sky because the sky is the most, um, I get the most feedback on my skies and there is a method to my madness here and how I do this. So I'm wetting the paper. As you can see, there's some dry spots still on there. And I create light um, and that contrast by starting out with a very, um, I already have paint just to I have paint already on my palette here that's from other projects and I'm not sure that I have anything that's just pure yellow without any green in it so I'm just giving you that heads up right now that I don't know what's gonna happen so I like to start by adding some yellow in the center for light which would represent um, the Sun um, as a light source obviously and so here I go here, and that creates a focal point. And here you can see the paint is wanting to move around on the paper by itself. It's following that those wet spots that I made initially. And my board is up right now, so you know it's going to move a certain way depending on the angle. Um, so here is my light source in the center, and the paint is moving still. It's going into all those wet spots and grooves. And then the next step is to add um, some sort of a blue. And I, like I said, I'm using just what's on my palette here. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, it, I'm going very intuitive here. So then now I'm, I'm adding in the blue. And of course, we don't want to get it too close to the yellow just yet because yellow and blue make green and skies aren't green. <laughs> so um, I'm just dabbing in some blue here. I'm going to wait for some of that yellow to set in there before I add blue over there so I don't get green. I'm going to add some over here on the other side and I'm just... There's dry spots, there's wet spots, it's, we got a little of everything here, okay? So this is what it looks like so far. And as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's still moving around quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna pull up some of the paint in little spots the appearance of clouds and I'm gonna add drops of water to give some extra texture now this is the part where we really get the contrast going I'm gonna take um, a dark blue which is a uh, actually Payne's gray which is like a dark blue black and there's a teeny bit of green in here and I don't want there to be green but like I said it's what I have on my palette so and here's where I start creating the contrast. That's really gonna make that light in the center pop. Looks like a big blobby mess right now. This is where you need to let go and allow the paint to work its magic without messing with it too much because it is so easy to overdo it. <laughs> a little bit of that in there. And now that that yellow has had a chance to dry somewhat, we can add, we can start adding some blue into that. I'm 
sure what color blue this is, but. So as you can see, the paint is moving along on its own here. And sometimes what I'll do is I will turn that so that it um, is distributed a little bit more um, uniformly. Just gonna let it do its thing. This is where you just kind of let go and allow the paint to do what it wants to do. Um, I ordinarily wouldn't be turning it so much, but I have my board upright, which I don't usually paint upright. So that's why I'm turning it. And see how it's just kind of doing its own thing. Uh, obviously it's a stormy sky. <laughs> I love those stormy skies. And I'm gonna pull up some of the paint here for the suggestion of clouds. There we have it. And the trick, I'm gonna repeat myself, it's to not overdo it and just let the paint do what the paint wants to do. Hard part. <laughs> Being the nature of humans is to control, right? We don't like to lose control. Here we have some more clouds going in there. And the paint is still doing its thing on its own. I am just gently redirecting at this point, okay? And I am going to call it quits in just a minute because I'm getting into the overworking the whole overworking thing. <laughs> so, just about to call it quits. Just a few more little Sorry about the mess in the background. <laughs> Obviously. I have some cleaning up to do. Okay, now I'm leaving it because if I keep messing with it, it's going to be just a muddy, mucky mess. So I will be right back in a few when it dries and show you.